Hey everyone, Zankus here, and today we're going to talk about etiquette and sportsmanship in Magic the Gathering. But before I get into it, as always, hit that subscribe button, hit, hit the like, hit the little bell, leave a comment, let me know what you think about uh, this whole situation. So, let's get into it. Uh, a few days ago, I saw, um, I think it was a Reddit post about uh, the Pro Tour, the guy lost, uh, the winner um, extended his hand and he said, no thanks. A couple, a couple seconds later, he extended his hand again and again he said, no thanks. So, we did, at that point, we didn't know why he didn't shake the guy's hand. There was a lot of speculation. Maybe he's a germaphobe. Maybe he just like doesn't like touching people. Maybe something like that. Uh, and I was I was behind that. I'm like, listen, if you legitimately uh, don't shake people's hands, you know, you, you want to uh, extend the congratulations or you know like a good game, GG, something like that, in some other way, I have zero problem with that. So, going back and forth on on Reddit. People were talking, cursing him, saying he's a soul loser and all that. Then we have an article that comes out um, on Epic Stream, the reason why he refused the handshake. So I was optimistic and I was hoping that he was going to say that he just doesn't like touching people. He, it's just like a personal space kind of thing. But it, that was not the case. The case was he was salty. So basically he was a sore loser and he didn't want to shake the other guy's hand. Um, he gets, This article goes into it a little bit. Um, here we got uh, Benjamin Nikolic, so we'll just call him Ben for short. Uh, I offered the handshake because after a match you should shake hands with your opponent, win or lose. It's just good sportsmanship. And I agree with you, Ben. That is good sportsmanship. But uh, Birkenbile puts up this video uh, looks like he is driving. It's very dark. Uh, I really don't agree with that. You shouldn't be making videos while you're driving. Very unsafe. That's just a little PSA for all you out there. Don't drive and use your cell phone at all. Trust me, I've seen the horrors of driving while using your cell phone. Anyway, he. I couldn't even get through this whole video. As you see, I stopped it at 2 minutes and 39 seconds. He's just going on about I lost and my teammate lost and now going forward we, we don't have a chance in the competition, the tournament, whatever. Like, dude, it's a card game. Shake the guy's hand. It, 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 that's not that's not a reason to uh, to blow the guy off. It's it's you're acting like a baby. You're a grown adult and you you're in the spotlight as a pro player at this level. Um, you gotta set an example, you know. Um, you're you're held to a higher standard than everybody else because you're in the public eye. You're you're that public figure. People are tuning in, watching you play. They come to watch watch your team play. And you know we got these kids coming up, and um, you got we got to teach them young, you know, when they first get in, not to be a sore loser. I mean, it, this this just goes um, in in every every aspect of somebody's life. You know, um, somebody gets a promotion over you. Don't you know? Don't don't sit there and curse the guy out behind his back and stuff. You know, feel happy for him. You know, and and good things will come to you in the future. Anyway, like like in sports, you know, I've seen baseball games where there's dugout clearing fights. And they're brawling, and guess what? After the game, the winners and losers they shake each other's hands. That's that's after that's after they fought on national TV, and then they're shaking each other's hands. You lost a Magic game, and you refused to shake the guy's hand. So uh, let's see exactly what he says over here. There's this other guy who's talking about it. Uh, I don't agree what he was saying, but uh, Marshall Shutliff. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's see, what was he saying? It's kind of unfortunate set of circumstances where he offered the handshake to me immediately and I was too upset to take it. Okay. When playing Magic, you have the 
there's two ways, well, three really, but there's uh, most of the time two ways uh, a game could go. You could win or you could lose. So you're going into this knowing that there is a possibility of losing. So <clears throat> there's that. Um, now, from when I started playing at like, uh, you know, I played, when I first started playing, it was more like kitchen table type things with friends or whatever. But when I first started playing at like uh, LGS and like Friday Night Magic, stuff like that, um, were more, a little, little bit more competitive than just um, playing in my, uh, my mother's kitchen. Yes, the loser usually, you know, you're sitting there and it's most of the time your turn and you're looking at the, the board state and you see that there's no way for you to win. You just go, good game, throw out your hand and the game's over. But in this situation, that didn't happen. The, the winner of the game was like, okay, cool, I won, I'm happy. Hey man, good game, shake hands, whatever. Uh, and the other guy goes, no thanks. Fine. The guy, I guess, you know, he was, he even admitted on this video that he made that he was cursing with his friends. So it was like very salty. The guy shouldn't have put his hand out a second time. Just, you know, I guess the guy felt embarrassed because I, I know if I, you know, have you ever been left hanging, sitting there? with your hand up and somebody just walks by you and you just give yourself that the, the, the high five just to be like, all right, yeah, um, cool, you know, you didn't give me that. That's what this guy probably felt like and that's not cool. Uh, so that's my take on this whole situation. Uh, just leave down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, I think that, uh, yeah, this is another point I wanted to get to. Um, this whole... Uh, I guess, how do you want to, how do I say this, uh, biased, or not biased, like this uh, stereotype, there, that's a good word, the stereotype on Magic the Gathering players, these, this antisocial type, oh, you, uh, you play Magic, you, you're not, you're not cool, you're not anti, you, you, you might be antisocial, um, and I, I, from what I've seen, it's completely op the opposite, you know, you go into, well, when I go into my my old LGS, the the new one that I go to now, you know, everybody's laughing, joking, talking. It's not like we just, you know, you go there and you're just sitting there waiting for your game to start and twiddling your thumbs. You don't want to talk to anybody. It's loud as hell in, in most of these game stores, you know, you go, because everybody's talking, interacting, you know. Okay, we don't, we're not on the basketball court, you know, shooting shooting hoops. Does that make us antisocial? No. So this guy is just like perpetuating the stereotype of like this saltiness, this antisocial, don't want to, don't know the real social cues of um, of interacting with other people. So I don't like that. Shouldn't shouldn't perpetuate the stereotype. So that's my thought. Um, as always, may your packs be spicy, and I'll see you next time.